Hello, everybody. Welcome to my desktop. I'm coming at you through mm -hmm on the left, coming through Zoom on the right side of your screen. So I want to show you a way that you can present through Zoom, but in a way that is much more engaging and visual for your audience. So if you go here in Zoom to uh, camera settings, you go to virtual camera. I choose the MM uh, mm -hmm camera. And uh, of course, the camera over here, you can choose as well inside. Mm -hmm. So if I just used a pointer just to kind of show you what I'm talking about, anything that happens over here inside, mm -hmm, of course, is showing up in Zoom, right? So this is like my little TV studio that I can control over here, and it's going to show up on Zoom. I don't have any students on now. I just have Steve Vader up there to kind of simulate what it might look like. Okay, so let me show you something, and it will make things a little bit easier when you're presenting with slides. So the way that I used to do it, and a way that you can do it, and probably most people just think, well, this is the way I have to do it, right? So I just made a very simple deck here of six slides. So the content is not what we're talking about here. Uh, I usually have far more than, than six slides in a presentation, but just to keep it simple. So you might do something like this where you open up uh, the slide deck and then you go into slides and add screen share, which is very similar to the way you do it directly in Zoom as well. And then you get something like this. And if I turn it on, you can see over the shoulder or full screen. Of course, I'm not going to show uh, this in this method, of course, or in this uh, mode, I want to show the full screen like this. So if you have used Keynote, if you're on the Mac and you've used Keynote, but you haven't used it for a while, you probably just went, what was that? So it's a new feature in Keynote that you can present in a way where you can see your speaker notes and uh, next slide and so on. Not new if you've been using PowerPoint. Uh, okay, so this is what I've got going here. Um, this is my desktop. Usually I'd have a chat going to so, yeah, it looks reasonably simple. Um, and what you do is you then have to make sure Keynote is the active window and you can go through and do your presentation. Uh, the advantage to doing it this way, you can always go full screen, by the way, if you wanted to. Um, I guess the advantage is that you could have the special effects. So, for example, a transition effect like that might not come, come out so great on the other end. It just depends on the kind of bandwidth that they have. Um, but that's one of the advantages. Uh, the problem is, when I was presenting this way, having PowerPoint or Keynote open, and down here in the tray, I have a lot of other kinds of visuals going on, and maybe another different slide deck, it gets very confusing. I have a lot of windows open. I would forget that I have to make this the active window, so I, things would get all screwed up. Also, every time I mouse over this, uh, this thing, maybe there's a way to turn this off, but anyway. And you're probably better at doing multitasking than I am, but I'm easily confused. And it just kind of does my head in a little bit. So rather than present this way, let's quit Keynote. So we'll turn this off and start uh, fresh. So what you can do instead is just take you, you know, your deck. Let's say you have 100 slides in your deck. You take that, you drag it up here, and it will ask if you want to import it. And I'm going to say no, because right now it takes a long time <laughs> to render that. Uh, but instead, you can, inside PowerPoint or Keynote, you can just export your images as uh, JPEGs, for example, uh, high quality, and then you can just uh, pull those in. And voila, so it's perfect, right? And then you can resize that. Let me turn this off. Um, you can resize that to get it the way you like it. And then I won't get into all what the presets means and all that kind of stuff. So the point is, it's much easier this way because I don't have to worry about going into another application, making sure Keynote is, is working, making sure Keynote is the active window. So I can just boom, just go through the deck in sequence. Of course, I've arranged everything. You know, I've spent the hours and hours arranging everything. You can move the uh, order of slides around, of course. And the most important thing is you can add all sorts of other images. And they don't have to be 16 by 9, of course. So let's say I add this image here, and I want to give it a different uh, preset. So I'll give it a new preset so it's not like the others. So I resize it, uh, something like that. So I'm, I'm over here, but then I come in like this. Or maybe this was full screen, and I come from full screen, but then I go in to this. I am talking about this image here, right? And you can also uh, pull in uh, all sorts of different kinds of images, like uh, PNG files. So here's an example here. I do this one full screen. So I was using something like this. So I just sketched it out. Uh, it has no 
it's, a, it's transparent, so it's a PNG file. So, you know, I can kind of, I'm more into the, the image in this case, uh, or a greeting like this. It can go over my face or it can be over the shoulder, make it a little bit bigger. So when I come to this, you know, I could say Genki Deska, right? So it's kind of great doing it this way. I'm not using green screen. I, I've used to use green screen, but I actually I like to keep things simple. No green, no green screen, no special effects, just overlays, lower thirds. You know, I can go full screen, of course, anytime on something or over the shoulder. So I really like doing it this way. Uh, of course, you can do in uh, pull in video, and this video is not 16 by 9. Oh, it has a sound, but you can always uh, turn the sound off. Um, but I could, you know, resize it, do something like that. Uh, so even videos like that, maybe get a little closer, and then I can be uh, talking about this video. And you can scrub through the video, stop it anytime. Again, you're looking at the whole desktop, but all the audience sees is this part over here. They just see the screen, and you have all these things. I'm not going to get into all the you know special effects and everything that you can do in mm-hmm. The only thing that I just wanted to say is that consider... Well, anyway, this is the way I do it, and I don't mind, you know, I had 200 slides or images. I shouldn't say slides. They were slides and video and images, all sorts of things you can uh, pull in. Here I have some more videos. You could do things like uh, B-roll, for example, put a few videos up here like this. So, And let's make these uh, full screen. So let's say I'm coming over here, and then I come here, whoop, full screen. So I'm coming over here, and then I'm coming over here, full screen. You know, as I'm talking about whatever, taking Route 66, going through different places in the USA, blah, blah, blah. So it's kind of a cool thing where you can have, of course, you know, uh, slides like this, but you can also have a video come in as a kind of B-roll. So, and this is simple. I like keeping it super, super simple. This is what the audience sees. I have over here my little TV studio. But basically, I just go from whatever, one to 200 slides, whatever it is. Uh, and then I have this window up here with other things that I might want to show during uh, discussion. And this happened actually last week in a presentation. Uh, it was just a 30-minute presentation and had a lot of different visuals. But during Q&A, uh, from the audience out in the Zoom world, things came up, but that's okay. I just went to different images and I would pull something up. For example, this, whatever this is, <laughs> this is just more B-roll. Uh, but anyway, let's say I was talking about something, this person, I had to bring this person up. Um, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. So you can always um, come back and, um, you know, I, you, you plan this ahead of time. So you're not like fishing all over your uh, computer trying to find stuff. But basically, it's simple. I've got my TV studio over here. This is what the audience sees. And of course, I can see the audience and interact with the audience over there. And then I do have a window open here just in case I need to pull some different images or video. And of course, I have the chat going on over there. Okay, I hope this video was useful and not completely useless, but check out, mm-hmm, I'll have more in the future. All right, thanks very much. Bye-bye.